Hi, my name is Greg Lowe. I'm a VDC subject matter expert here at Autodesk. And I'm going to just do a quick walkthrough of setting up a new project in preparation for using the VDC tools within the Autodesk Construction Cloud. So that would include uh, design collaboration, model coordination, and some of the other tools that are throughout uh, the different modules. So let's first get started with creating a project. I am first on at acc.autodesk.com and I'm gonna go to create project. I'm gonna call this TS. Uh, I'll give it a project number. I'll make, select my account that I'm saving it to and the type of project. And then if I'm gonna use a template, for this case, I'm not going to use a template, uh, but that's definitely something, an option I could have. I could go ahead and put an address in. Put an address, put in the time zone. Uh, when the project starts, maybe it starts today and it will go for another year. And the project value in US dollars. Now I, I only need to do the ones with the red asterisk. So I don't have to do all of that, but I did in this case. Okay, so that's gonna create the project. Okay, here I am in the project. First thing I wanna do is make sure I have myself in there and that I have the modules turned on. So I'm gonna turn on docs, and then I'm gonna turn on design collaboration and model coordination. At this time, I'm not gonna turn on takeoff, build, cost management, or auto specs, um, but I could come back and turn those on. I can also set my role, whether I wanna do that by my position or my company, um, in this case, I'll just do as a bin manager. And then my access level, I'll keep as admin. Okay, now I'm gonna give that just a minute for the products and permissions to go through. Looks like they're in. So now I'm going to go to docs. Oh, let me jump back into it. And in here in docs, I'm gonna go through and build out my folder structure. So I'm gonna add a, a few subfolders to get me started just by clicking on the three action dots and doing add subfolder. Now I'm going to rename them. Let's say I wanna start with uh, some project specific files. So I'm gonna say 01 project internal, oh, sorry, project management. And then I'm gonna rename this one. I'll call this one my VDC folder. Then I'm gonna add a subfolder to this one. And let's say I'm doing, I've got an internal folder and now I've also got a folder where I'm going to be putting all of my filled models. And I'm, I'm going to have this one really close and, and quick to get to within the folder structure because I want my filled models to be readily accessible. Uh, next, what I'm going to do will be my coordination models. Now, I'm going to abbreviate as much as I can in my folder structure to save on my characters. You, you do want to keep in mind that on my characters, I'm limited to a 260 max character limit on the folder path name. So as I start building these folder paths out and as they go deeper and deeper, the longer they get with the file folder names and then the file name, I'm a, I have a 260 max character limit. So I do want to be careful with that. Let's go to the coordination models and I'm gonna add a couple of subfolders here. One of them is going to be my design models. And another one will be my trade models. 
Under VDC, I'm going to add one more one more folder, and I'm going to call this my shared folder. Okay. Now I'm going to keep going and go a little bit full, further in here. I'm going to add some more folders under my design folder. And let's start with my civil, my architectural, and then I'm going to do my structural. I'm going to do my mechanical, electrical. I'm going to add one more. I'm going to call this my 05 copy trade of trade models. And as we go into the next further steps, I'll explain why I have that folder. Okay, I'm now going to go to my trade and I'm going to add a subfolder here. And I'm going to start with my copy of my design models. I'm going to add some subfolders. Maybe I've got a concrete trade and a steel trade. Do my mechanical. Do my fire protection trade, my electrical. I got out of order there off my list, so I just added that in. So one, two, three, four, five. I'm back in order. My framing trade, and I am going to rename this, and I'll make this my zero zero copy design models. I've gone through. I've turned on the modules I'm going to use. If I need to go through and add more members, I can do that. As part of it, I'm going to assign the different modules that I want them to use. And I've got a simple folder structure set up. That is the very beginning of setting up a project within the Autodesk Construction Cloud.